Hey riders, how you doing? This is Paul with another ride home review this week. I watched Dunkirk, which is directed by Christopher Nolan and stars Kenneth Branagh, Tom Hardy, James Darcy, Mark Berlance, Chillian Murphy, and a bunch of newcomers who did a marvelous job. And the story is really about um, uh, in 1940 the British and French were trapped on the coast of Dunkirk and the English uh, assembled a let's see uh, like a civilian sailor corps to go help and rescuing the 400,000 men that were on the on the beach what did I like about this movie first of all uh, it was very intense very well paced um, really good story um, uh, well I mean it's a story that most people don't know and that's one thing I like is the fact that um, it's a piece of, of history that most uh, most of us in America would know because this is this is all about the the British Army before the before the United States joined the war. Um, the cinematography and the camera work in this was unlike anything I've seen, um, especially going back and forth uh, with uh, the planes. It just just the way that it was the way that it was put together, the editing. Um, just amazing uh, really like I said it was an hour it was just under a two-hour movie believe it or not um, for something this epic usually they they go well over two hours but it was under under two hours but it it was intense very intense it felt longer than what it was um, and it, in a good way uh, so so there was that I mean it was just well directed had a great cast um, went right into it just went right into the the whole situation and from there it was just uh, a race to the end um, and where you rested was to at the end um, uh, and uh, once again it's one of those stories where you pretty much know how it's gonna end up but it's the journey um, that that takes it through that and uh, like I said the cinematography the camera work the editing, those technical aspects of this movie it may just make it spectacular. The sound, um, the audio of of the planes and the, you know, incredible sound design. Um, what I didn't like was it wasn't necessarily a story that was linear. And sometimes that was a little hard to follow. Um, I know that they try to place the timing at the very beginning but you know in the midst of what this is all about and what's going on um, sometimes when they uh, re realign the perspective of where things are it, it just was not where you just got a little um, confused uh, somewhat I mean I'm not easily confused and sometimes I find myself going well I don't understand the timing of this this just isn't matching up and so so that was that was the that was it what to watch for um, man it was just uh, what to watch for it's just the fact that there really isn't a whole lot of dialogue um, and you can tell that's intentional not a whole lot of dialogue just a lot of uh, of the imagery of the action of what's going on the action the reactions this and that um, and that's what made it what it was uh, best movie of the year not so sure about that but it's a very very good movie and one that you should see in the theater just to get the full effect um, highly recommend it it's really well done don't know if it's quite the best movie of the year, but it's up there. So let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like it, 
and so on. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. This is Paul. See you next week.